You're coming off in an, uh, another impressive season, 17-4, and four, six all-conference selections, and another visit to the NJAC tournament. How do you take that next step to bring back a conference championship, the first one since 2008? Well, we return a lot of veterans. Uh, we, I think we have 16 returning players plus 10 new freshmen. So um, it's just a matter of getting the veterans in with the freshmen, making sure they're, you know, accepted into the program, you know, getting the right, uh, getting the right feel for how we play and all that, the quicker we can do that, the, the, you know, quicker we can get back to the NJAC championship and, you know, hopefully win another one. As you hit on before, you're returning a lot of players, seven everyday starters, 16 total. This has to be one of your more mature teams that you've ever coached. Oh, it definitely is. I mean, I think we have 10 seniors who have been in the program for four years, uh, you know, another one who is a grad student who's coming off a redshirt year. But it's, you know, with that return and with the, the mix of the new players, you know, it, it's an exciting time. One of those players, the NJAC Player of the Year in Erica Soule, 17 goals, 11 assists last season. What can she do for an encore? Um, I, I think she can do better than that. Uh, the reason is, is I think we've provided her with more depth, um, more speed to go along with her. Erica is not a, a blazing speed girl. She is more con under control, more skill wise, um, has a great shot. I think she could, uh, y you know, even further those numbers a little bit with the people that we have around her. At the end of the year, these, you know, all these teams that we played keyed in on her and took her away. Now they're not going to be able to key in on her. They've got to, you know, they've got to worry about basically anybody we throw up there. So it's only going to benefit her. Basically, took the words right out of my mouth, Coach. Uh, safe to say, Tiffany Kelly will be playing alongside her. What other players can we look for to take some of the pressure off of that front line and off of Soul? Um, I, you know, Tiff's Tiff's definitely in the mix. She's been a little bit uh, injured during preseason, but she's starting to come around a little bit. Um, another player is Shelly Carpino, who, who came in extremely fit. She's an extremely fast player who, you know, works well with some of the other skilled players. You know, one of the great things that we have going up top is we can mix a very fast player with a very skilled player, and they seem to work a lot better together. Um, another girl, Melissa Kelly, who has unbelievable positioning with her body, um, knows exactly what to do with the ball, very skillful, it's Tiff's sister. Um, so we might be pairing them up a lot because the fact that they've been playing together basically their whole life. So we're trying to find the right combinations. If we find those right combinations, we're going to stick with them. If not, we're going to keep trying you know, different things to see what works best for us. But Defensively, you have second team Kayla Lehay returning and DeAndre Turchi will be on the back line. Those two working together, how has their leadership trickled down to the other players? Well, I think, you know, to the, the first part of them is they're the hardest workers on the team. Um, I think our backs are extremely hard work, and that's along with Chelsea Eckel, too, who's been in the program for four years. Um, those girls have just had tremendous work rate. Uh, each and every day in practice, they come out, they, they do the things that they're supposed to do, and a little bit extra. And when we have all these young players, especially with the newcomers, they can learn off them. They can learn the training habits. They can learn how they, they go about their business in, you know, in practice, how they prepare for games. And they're unbelievable examples for them. And Carly Trevino, who made a strong case for Rookie of the Year last season, returns to net as a sophomore. Third best goals against average and second best save percentage in the conference last year. She's playing as a seasoned vet and not a sophomore. How huge is it to have her for three more years? Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the things. She she had some growing pains in the beginning of the year last year, which, you know, we kind of expected. It's difficult to, to throw a freshman in there because they're not – they're not going to be as vocal as they need to be, which is part of our system is our goalkeeper needs to be extremely vocal, you know, shouting out commands and stuff like that. But she does have that year, and that year was, you know, pretty important to her, and she wants to build on that. And that's the great thing. Carly, when she gets out on the field, she works, um, and, that, and that's one of the things that we've asked her to do, and 
one of the things she prepared for this season. And you can see a little bit of change from last year to this year. You're open against the defending Capital Athletic Conference champs, York College. How important is it to start off against one of the better teams in the nation? I think it, I think it's a great start for us. Um, you know, sometimes when you enter these tournaments, you don't know the other teams in them. Um, I'm actually extremely happy about playing it. They're a, an unbelievably good team. Uh, they've been in the national picture the last 10 years. You know, we know we're going to get a battle. They didn't lose a lot from last year. We didn't lose a lot. So it's a great test to see where we are in the, in the opening of the season. And I couldn't be happier with our opponent right now. All right, Coach, thank you, and best of luck this year. Thank you.